I want to react to Kevin James and Joe Rogan talking about the carnivore diet and fasting and some of the weight loss struggles that Kevin James has. I think I have the answer to his question, and I think Joe missed it. You can't outrun a bad diet. You just you can't. can't. You can't. It's the best phrase. It's real. You can't outrun a diet. I love this phrase. It's so true, and it's why I feel so bad when I'm going around in public or I'm driving around in my car and I see someone overweight and they're jogging. They're trying to outrun a bad diet. I guarantee you a lot of them, they're jogging and then they're going home and then what are they doing? They're putting the wrong fuel back in the tank. They're putting in sugar and they're putting in processed garbage and they're hungry again. You can't outrun a bad diet. You just got to put the right fuel in the tank. That's, that's where it all comes from. Yeah. It all comes from food and we're all addicted to food. We're all addicted to food. I need to correct Joe Rogan there. I am not addicted to food. I am a carnivore. I have been for 356 days now. I'm coming up on a year and I have no addictions whatsoever. I was addicted to food uh, because there are foods out there that are highly addictive. Sugar is an addictive drug that we've normalized and we try to eat it in moderation and we end up failing over and over again. It's the craziest thing if you're addicted to food because you have to eat it. It's not like heroin. Like That's if right. you're addicted to heroin, like, oh, I've got a heroin problem, but I'm going to take a little bit of heroin. Right. No, you're going to go full bore again. He's absolutely correct, except for the fact that he's not specifying food. I have a different definition of food than Joe Rogan does. There is food, which your body needs for sustenance. And for me on the carnivore diet, Beef, butter, bacon, eggs, natural ingredients humans have eaten since the start of time. Then there's food, which is the other 59,995 products in the grocery store that people label as food, but it's not. It's processed garbage. It's complete waste. The human species was never adapted to eat that stuff. We get addicted to it. We want more and more because there's sugar in it. Sugar lights up the brain like cocaine does, but it's just been given a complete pass. It's just been completely normalized and we give it to children. And then we wonder why we have such problems dieting. We lose some weight. We do all of these crazy things like Kevin James is describing here, uh, fasting, doing all this stuff to lose a little bit of weight. Then we try to go back in moderation, but that's like an alcoholic or a cocaine addict saying, oh, I was addicted to cocaine my entire life. I quit it for 60 days. I feel so much better. Now I can go back to moderation. I'm going to have a little cocaine. What would happen? What do you think would happen? The precise thing that happens when people go back to eating food in moderation, the problem is we need to define Joe Rogan what food is. And the typical stuff you get in the grocery store is not food. Sugar, seed oils, processed garbage, red dyes, ingredients we can't pronounce, glyphosate, pesticides, herbicides, that is not real food. Beef, butter, bacon, eggs is the realest food we can get right now, unfortunately. Vegetables used to be real food. Now you get a vegetable, it's full of uh, forever chemicals. It's full of glyphosate. It's full of pesticides. It's full of herbicides. It's uh, glyphosate's breaking the blood-brain barrier. Uh, it's it's uh, causing leaky gut and all sorts of issues. It's not food. It's right. like... It's one of the very few things where you're addicted to it and you got to not be addicted to it anymore, but yet you still need to eat it. Well, what? That's crazy. Yeah. That's a crazy conundrum. And most. I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but I think you get my point. He's saying you have to eat food, you're addicted to it. I'm saying you don't have to eat sugar and you don't have to eat processed junk and you don't have to eat garbage that's waste that is addictive. If you just eat the real food, there is no addiction. I have no addiction. I have talked to tens of thousands of other carnivores. They have no addiction. If you do carnivore and then you have some sugar, you still have an addiction. Just like if you did carnivore and you had a little cocaine after overcoming cocaine, you would still be addicted and you'd do a whole bunch of cocaine and you would fail. Most people's minds can't really process that. That's right. And I, I can't, I just, I can't because he, he, he's given me the diets, Dolce, you know, just do this, mm -hmm. this, and this, and this. You know, it's formula. It's very simple. I mean, by the way, does every who, who needs some a, another grown man to tell you what to eat? You know by now. Right. You know, seriously, you know. You don't know, Kevin James, and that is the problem, and that's why you're struggling. I'm not shaming Kevin James at all. He's telling Joe Rogan, if you watch this whole thing, he's struggling with his weight. He's saying he fasted for a long time. He lost a whole bunch of weight. He's done different diets and lost a whole bunch of weight, but he gains it all back again. He doesn't know. He thinks he knows. If he knew, he would look like I am. He would be down to his goal weight, and he'd be feeling like a proper human. He doesn't know. That's the problem.
And same thing with working out. You don't know. Move your body. Whatever yeah. it is, do, you, you know what to do. You may not know yeah. the intricate stuff of like split squats and this and that. Work this thing. In. But uh, general health, you, you know what. Yeah. I got to move my body more, eat better foods, less processed food. We, we know it. Yeah. But yet, man, I can't. That's what this documentary I'm doing about. It's like why I have access to the greatest guys. Why can't I still do it? It's like, and part of it is. I need the Goggins, you know. Yeah, thing. you need a hype man. Y- you do. You need someone around you who's also doing it. Well, that's it. You don't need a hype man. You just need to put the proper fuel in your body. He's continuing to put sugar in his body after he loses some weight and he gains it all back. There's no other species on this entire earth. Do you know there's there's millions of species on earth? There's so many that scientists don't even know how many species they are. What we do know is that almost every single one of those species eats its intended diet and it thrives, and it doesn't have to self-regulate, and it doesn't need a Goggins and a coach and a personal trainer, and it doesn't need to count calories, it doesn't need to fast for 41 days, it doesn't need to do all of these tricks, it just eats its natural food, food that it was intended to eat, and it thrives. Humans, with our big, huge brains, Joe Rogan's big brain, uh, Kevin James' big brain, we're the only ones that overcomplicate it, and it's a result of that overcomplication that uh, Kevin James is struggling, and he, he just can't figure this out. You know? It's community. I don't have that. It's like when I'm with Dolce, if we're on a movie together or, or do something, he's got me in shape. He's right. giving me the meals. and you know, it makes right. it, When I'm my own captain, yeah. I'm <laughs> homeboy. I'm gone. I'm just gone. You know, one thing that you can try uh, that I guarantee will help you lose weight is the carnivore diet. Because if you do it, the one thing that you're going to not eat is any carbohydrates. You're only going to eat meat. 100%. And if you cut out all bread, all pasta, all sugar, I'm not saying this is a great diet. I'm not saying this is the way to live. I'm saying this is the best way for me to eat. I've done every other yeah. kind of diet. This one works the best for me, and it's the one that keeps me lean. Because right. when you're eating just protein, your body hits a satiety level. If Done. you're just eating steak, just steak. Full. Your body will hit a level, and you go, this is all I need. And and, and, and why is that, Joe Rogan? Because you're putting the proper fuel in your body. Your body's like, I'm good. I don't need anything else. And you move on. Credit to Joe Rogan. I'm so happy he's talking about the carnivore diet. Uh, but let's see what Kevin James has to say. And then you won't want to eat more. But if I'm in that same mind space right. and there's a steak there, but it's na- next to mashed potatoes right. with gravy, a, a bowl of pasta, right. ice cream, Mashed potato, carbohydrate. Carbohydrate turns into sugar. A bowl of noodles, carbohydrate, starch turns into sugar. Ice cream, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. It's an addiction. That is the root cause of the problem. It's very simple. Then I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to get another 7,000 calories. Just like a cocaine addict would, just like if you were an alcoholic, Joe Rogan, and you're going to say, I'm just going to have one little shot. I'm going to have the steak, and I'm going to have a little shot. I'm going to have a beer. You're a horrible alcoholic. You're going to have another one and another one because you're addicted. I'm going to keep going. But if I just eat the steak, then my body starts processing ketones. Mm -hmm. I start, instead of using carbohydrates, I'm only eating protein and fats. Your body goes into like a a ketogenic state. You think better. It gives you an extra gear with thinking. What Joe Rogan is describing there is what it feels like to be a proper human. You're not even thinking better, Joe Rogan. You're now at the baseline of what all humans could be thinking at. The problem is all of humanity has never experienced that before because their entire life, they're going around with a brain fog and they're going around with fatigue and they don't have the energy to get through the day and they get home at the end of the day and they plop on the couch and they do the bare minimum and they go along to get along because they're not putting the proper fuel in their body. They've got brain fog and inflammation from all the sugar and processed seed oils and and processed garbage they're consuming. The ketogenic thing is, I mean, that for me is is worked. It's... Because Dolce will hate me for saying like like he's like you know when they say blueberry you know or, you know carbs he's he he's like carbs are fine for you like the right carbs are fine for you the right carbs I'm sorry Kevin James I don't know how much money you got I don't know who you're talking to here but my friend carbs are sugar you're addicted to sugar sugar is not fine for you if you were a recovering alcoholic and someone just said to you ah you know there's some people that get addicted to beer you're just fine look at you. Uh, Kevin James, and again, I'm not shaming you. You said this yourself. You've struggled with your weight so much your entire life. It's heartbreaking. 
And it doesn't have to be that way. You are addicted to carbs. Carbs turn into sugar. You're addicted to sugar. You need to abstain from sugar. Carbs. There's nothing wrong with carbs. Right. It's a fuel for your body. Right. But what the I'm saying fuel. is if you're the trying to fuel. lose weight, one of the best ways to regulate your appetite is a carnivore diet. Uh, I don't agree with his uh, statement that there's nothing wrong with carbs. There are things wrong with carbs. Our body can putter along on carbs. It'll take that fuel. The body is amazing that way. It'll putter along. Or you can be like in a Ferrari zooming along to your fullest potential when you're putting the right fuel on there. And that is when your body is powered by ketones. Because you don't overeat with it. But I think it's deeper than that for me. I think it's mental. I think it's like anything will work. I fasted that. You know, like I've. Kevin James, I love you, man. You're an amazing comedian. But listen to what you're saying. I think it's deeper than that. Anything will work. Yet here you are on Joe Rogan. You just said, you guys got to watch this whole thing, what he says. Uh, He's way overweight again. And I think he said he gained something like 80 pounds in just a short period of time. It's not that anything will work. If anything will work, you wouldn't be having this conversation with Joe Rogan right now. And you would be down at your goal weight and you would be absolutely thriving. Joe's advice to go on the carnivore diet is the answer. Carnivore is the way for you, Kevin James. I can guarantee you that. I've done everything, you know, it it all works for a while, but why am I this size now? (laughs) Oh, I feel so bad for him. Such a smart guy, too. This guy, this guy. I've tried everything, and why am I overweight now? Because you're an alcoholic and you keep going back to alcohol. You're a cocaine addict, and you keep going back to cocaine. You're addicted to heroin your entire life, Kevin Kevin James. You did more heroin than anyone else could ever imagine. You quit the heroin, and then you're like, I'm just going to do a little bit of heroin on Saturday. It should be fine. I'm I'm over it now. I'm going to do heroin in moderation. That's the answer. It's so simple. You're putting the wrong fuel in your body. Because he'll give me workouts, Dolce, to do too, and I can't do it. I don't do it. He'll give him workouts and he can't do it. Why can't he do it? Because he's way overweight. And when you're overweight, you're sick, Kevin James. And when you're sick and you're putting the wrong fuel in the body, you have brain fog and you have fatigue and you're tired. It's the same thing as if you had pneumonia and then someone was like, ah, just go walk it off. You'll feel better. I never exercised until I lost my weight that was causing me to be sick. I never exercised until I put the proper fuel in the tank. Meat and ketones. Now I exercise all the time. I have endless energy. You're trying to out-exercise. You're trying to outrun. You're trying to do what you said in the beginning. You can't outwork a bad diet. 99% of your success in getting healthier and losing the weight is the nutrition. 1% is the exercise. You're focused on the exercise. Fix the nutrition. Thing I got. I have every piece of equipment in 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 my, in my gym. I do. If you if you saw my. Gym, he has every piece of equipment in the gym and he's not doing it. He's not doing it because he shouldn't be doing it. He should be focused on his nutrition. It's so sad. This guy is rich. He has every resource at his disposal and he's not able to figure this out. So how is the everyday person like me and others supposed to figure it out? It is really simple. And I mean this sincerely from the heart. This isn't me sh- uh, shaming Kevin James. When I'm watching this, I just totally see my former self, all of the yo-yo dieting. Oh, I did the keto. Oh, I tried exercising. I got the home gym. Everything that Kevin James is mentioning, I have done. I've lost a ton of weight over the years, just like Kevin James described earlier in this. He lost a whole bunch of weight and then boom, 80 pounds back on, just like that, just like that. It is the most disheartening, most discouraging thing in the entire world. And it doesn't have to be that way. Kevin James, carnivore is the way Listen to Joe Rogan. Stop talking so much and listen. Try carnivore diet. Eliminate sugar, eliminate seed oils, and eat the foods that the human species is intended to eat. Your body will be free from inflammation. Your body will be free from anxiety and depression and arthritis and IBS and your stomach gurgling and all of these issues you have. And all of a sudden, you're going to have this crazy energy. And that beautiful home gym you have, you're going to start using that equipment because you're going to have excess energy because for the first time in your life, Kevin James, you're going to feel like I feel. You're going to feel like a proper human fulfilling your potential as a human. There's nothing like it. You're so close. Just do it. If you're interested in learning more about our documentary, please visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. Donate.healinghumanity.movie.
that movie we're filming real individuals over the course of a year overcoming depression anxiety obesity type 2 diabetes um, all sorts of issues just simply eating a proper human diet like i do thanks so much for watching